is Habibi Adventures with Kamene. So today we are going to Malindi with a 10 p.m. train. And right now we are really early. My family brought me. <laughs> My family brought me and as I wait for the others, we're gonna be chilling here for quite some time before 10. So it's it's 7.34. See you! After four hours from SGR terminals to Watamu, we finally got to our villas, which is Chester Villas in Watamu. It's a six bedroom house, a very spacious and a very beautiful house. So we had our breakfast refreshed and went out for swimming. So after swimming, some of us took a nap, others uh, continued swimming, eventually had lunch and we headed out to Leech House for the sundown at around 3 p.m. Lizzie is a uh, 2000, 2000. Mm. Lizzie is a uh, 1000. In a 1000, so it's in 2000, 2000.
this month. We are still having fun. We are here for the sundown. It's a party, and we are expecting to see a beautiful, beautiful sunset. One thing I'll have to admit is that Leech House is such a vibe. We met new friends, we had fun, we watched the sundowner together, and later on they invited us for a beach party at Paparemo, if I'm not wrong. And some of us were able to go, and this is the end of day one. On to day two. Today we woke up to go to the beach and we were entertained by these acrobat, ac acrobats, <laughs> sorry, acrobats. They're really energetic young men and this is so entertaining to watch. And um, we were to go for a boat ride but it had rained heavily and we were scared of the storms in the sea when it rains. Sometimes it gets really rough so we decided to stay by the beach and um, yeah I had some some henna drawn on us the ladies Five acres, but normally we take our clients to the best places which is available. Come close. What was it a problem? There were third water waves, eh? That's one of the water waves. But then the water table went down from 17th century. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons which made the city city be abandoned from 17th century. I'd like to give you the service, then you can donate for the family. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. I'm starting this. Are you ready? Yeah. So this is where we officially start? Yeah, now that two are Eighth century, they came to East Africa. They just occupied the first line of East Africa. They intermarried with the Bantu. When they intermarried, their children could not speak Arabic or the two language. They were supposed to speak to Swahili. The Swahili awards come from there and from there. There's the inner wall, one of the most. Madarasa to the Muslim school, big open air market, and small open air market. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Another water well. The first name of the city was one of Kilimani. So Kilimani and Nairobi, Kilimani of Gede. Mm -hmm. So Gede name started there from 17th century. In the 17th century, there was there out in Somali. There are people from Somali or Oromos, the after water. They came all the way up to north of Malindi. After reaching there, there was only three waterways. The original saw people that as were killed, or they just displaced. Nobody knows what they went up to that. Eh? Mm. So the Somalis were very, very proud because they got whatever they needed. After some months, they returned the name from Kilimani to Gede. Very good. Gede is an Oromo word, the Gala word, the Somali word, means precious, movement, somebody's name and their place. Okay. But then something occurred to the Somali people. Maybe God punished them because they came and fought the innocent people. Their measure was the water. The water from the third world changed from fresh to salt. Hmm? All of a sudden? Mm -hmm. Like real story? Yeah. Yes. Then the water table went down. No more water. There's not even a drop of water down there? Yeah. Depends on the shoes or just right away with the uh, house of the shoes. Means that there he found some Chinese cash. The sort of people give the Chinese coins from 15th century, 
so that they could produce their own money and they could afford it. Mm. And also then found some beads, shanga from Italy, 16th century, those only places for the ladies. Eh? A divisor's room, sitting room for the Sultan's family. Cement toilets. On the century, there's no cement. Then how could they join the stone? They had coals and soft coals. Eh? Mm. They burn the soft coals after burning them, they smash them. They get the coral raga. You know coral raga? Mm -hmm. Like powder from the soft coral. Mm -hmm. eh? The coral raga. Limestone, red earth, mixed with water as a mortar for joining the stones. Can you see? So it makes the stones. It's the toilet. Mm -hmm. Servants. No, the sultans. Oh, the sultans. Oh, the sultans. Two clay pots of water. They get a jug of water. They go to the washing room. So, oh, they were Muslims, yeah? Yeah, they were Muslims. Safe room for giving me the pot on that first. Gold, silver, ivory, etc. The sultan had four wives. When they died, they were buried there. First wife, second one, third and the fourth wife. And the remains were left there after the Oh, so they're still here? Yes. Hapa kuna maiti yani? Yeah. Palace annex, Sultan's residential and his family. What I told you, Sultan of Zikwapa, Sultan of Nyoka Zikwapa is the first Sultan, and the remains are still there. The Sultan had four wives. The first wife was the head of the women's court and the three men wives, judges and advisors. Men's court, listeners were sitting here. Accused people were sitting on the first bench. From this wall at the corner, there's a chef. You can see the chef. Yes. They were keeping the Quran. If somebody was mute, was supposed to swear, holding the Quran before judged. Sultan was supposed to sit in the middle. Magistrate, right and bench. Eh? This was just a storeroom. Here, they are keeping their books, library, there are some holes, you see the holes over there? Yeah. There are some pegs inside the holes, eh? So they are hanging the sitting carpets or the sitting mats. Are we together? Mm. All these are stores, offices, bedroom for the judges and advisors. On those centuries, there was no cooling system, but here they had their own homemade cooling system. How? From there up to that end, there was underground channel of water three meters deep. That's why you can see those two holes. If the person can go the flat roof, flat roof thing, they think the cooling is underground. And the homemade air condition. Are we together? The door of the palace, that's the logo of the Gede Ruiz. That's the logo of the Gede Ruiz. Here, where we are now entering, dressing room. Houses flat roofing, that was the bathtub. Oh, this is a bathtub. Yeah. And this is the flat roofing. Now, I'm going to ask you to come to the room. The fourth great most from The fourth? Fourth great most from Oh wow. Great team. Yani. I was going to come to the foundation. Wow. Yani. You know what I'm doing? Here. You are keeping the lamp. Do you know porcelain? Yeah. Here. There are some porcelain balls for decoration of the mosque. There were eight mosques. And this is the fourth great mosque from 15th century. Back there for the ladies, here we are for the gents. Eh? Mm. The pillars were very, very strong. Why? Heaviness of the flat roof, 30 centimeters. Wow. Today we can serve in a museum. They are calling the uh, friends for the prayers eh? five times a day. But there isn't public address. On the century, there was no public address. Then how could they call their friends? A very, very important person was for the new names. Eh? And they took the design of the footage pillar from the Dagascar to the city. Then why was it named for the pillar? The shape is looks like a flute. On the top of the pillar there was a hole. So when the wind blows for some sound on top. If they're passing there and they had the blow, they're just a call who was buried there for the blue brothers. 
away together. Mm. This one was there for the excavation. Already the city was one of those seven pieces. So he threw some red pictures. Can you see that the mm. Some of them they just collapsed. So these are just dates. He took the dates from the wall to the sun the burning. AH, Islamic calendar, means after Hijra, AD, Christian calendar, and Donna. These, these all these are tombs? Two, two graves only. That's the public graveyard. Oh, so, okay, let's go to the museum. Museum. Okay. Interesting. So, this is Arabic. Ah, i Arabic. China, from Egypt, from Iraq, from Europe, all these are important. Here, we have the lamb eating the flowers from Delhi, obviously, reach their scrappy foods. Post with the flowers from China again, and from Europe, flowers again from China and from Europe, and from Delhi. We are at Mamrui Sand Dunes and I'm right behind the beach and I'm going to show you how the dunes look like in a few but right now let us enjoy the beach sand dunes. I'm approaching the sand dunes. From here, he Hiyoten is sand dunes and the ocean is over there at the farthest end. Assume an imaginary candle. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ruth. Happy birthday to me. How old are you now? <laughs> welcome. You're welcome, Cupcake. Hello. So, at the moment we are at the SGR. We have just finished our trip and we are going back to Nairobi with the 3 o'clock train. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, we're on time because it's one, it's two, it's two fifteen. So we have to wait for like fifteen more minutes so that we board the SGR and then leave for Nairobi. But so far, our trip has been successful. We are grateful and we thank God. Thank you so much for being with us and watching my video. Please be sure to like, comment, share. Bye bye.